Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Nizio Cole, and the Watch Dogs 3 Legion reveal just happened not too long ago. I streamed my live reaction over my Twitch, so basically, I just downloaded the VOD and I'm gonna put it in this video, and then we're gonna be talking about everything Watch Dogs Legion after you guys watch the reveal trailer. Okay, okay, okay. Huh, all right, and Rainbow Six. I was at Watch Dogs that I saw. I could, I couldn't tell. Just dance, maybe. I can't. I, they, these are really just, you know. Wait! Don't tell. Wait! Yep, I know what this is. Yep. London. There it is. Greatest city in the world. Well, used to be. Now it's a right mess. The government's fucked off. Extremists are grabbing power. Organized crime slicing up the boroughs. Is this? Dogs this is not what I. This isn't what I think. CT. <gasps> yo. Oh, yo, guys. Guys. <laughs> guys. 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 One recruit at a time. Alpha gameplay footage. AI assistant. Scouting talent, Bagley. So gob shut, eyes peeled, yeah. I have no eyes, and if I did, I wouldn't peel them. So this is post Brexit, I'm assuming. Bloody drones are everywhere, kicking our fucking teeth in lately. Then I recommend you recruit someone who can deal with drones. Brilliant. Never would have thought of that. There's so much to take in here. This kind of gives me like DSX vibes. Is that just me? Hmm. Impressive skill set. Sure, but we need a drone expert, Raj, not a shit kicker. File that one away for later. Huh. Find a recruit that can help against militarite. Well now. Jimmy Shaw. No formal engineering training, but he has several mischief charges for hijacking Albion drones. Hold still. Fuck you, man. You got no right. Fuck you, hell. We find our drone expert and he's about to get himself nicked. This is so different. Since when is DeadSec like this? I'm guessing it's in like 2022 or something. Okay, so there are guns. Or, no. Critically injured. Surrender or resist. Huh? Oh, what? Huh? Okay. Alright, okay, but okay, okay. CTOS auto. Okay. Chase drones? Oh, you're playing. So, I. Ian Robshaw killed in action. Later rest. What in the yo? Yo, what? Lovely evening, isn't it? Ah, uh, I used to feed the birds here. Oh, okay. Now they're all bloody machines. Oh, okay. In the long march of progress, everything dies eventually. Eventually, even you, Bagley, I'm sure. Now there's my Helen. Speaking of death. You'll never guess what just happened to Ian. Oh, for God's sake, Bagley, a little respect. 
Then let's finish what he started. He was working on a new recruit, a drone expert. That's promising. What do we know about him? Albion scanned Jimmy just before Ian was killed. I should be able to predict his next move from that data. Unfortunately, his records are locked up tighter than your compression stockings. Are they now? Download. This should be handled by the Met. I... Albion's even taken over Scotland Yard. Complicates matters. Oh. And there's my way in. Hello. Oh, okay. All right. So, mini version of the spider. Ah. Uh... Oh, they're getting interesting with this non-lethal thing. Time to go. They'll be on to me. Okay. All right. All right. Old lady just okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that just happens. Armed guard just trained guard just doesn't notice an old lady sneaking up on him. The files you stole indicate that Jimmy's gone to Camden Market. Let's get someone over there, Bagley. Chop chop. Discover Ready for some action, Naomi? Always. But this recruit better be worth all the trouble. According to the Scotland Yard records, Jimmy's sister was killed by Clan Kelly. We believe he's seeking his revenge inside Camden Market. Camden Black Market, you mean? Yes, the Kellys are rumored to run all sorts of illicit goods out of the old stables. Some with fingers and toes. Huh. If he's gone in there alone, he's in big trouble. The Kellys have this place on full lockdown. Hmm. I have an idea. I'm guessing this is set in around 2022. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. Don't you love to see that? So is this dead sec or the huh hey that's hey, that's the original logo from the first game ah, okay all right so much for the non-lethal bit <laughs> Yeah, I love how they just don't notice her. The Kellys are moving loads of weapons out of here. They're not your typical back alley shanks. Stables. It's human trafficking. Found Jimmy. Cheeky shit. Fuck you. And here we thought he might be in some sort of trouble. So she doesn't have any weapons on her. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Hugs and kisses. Oh, okay, so Yeah, that good to see that that's returning in this game. You know the it's dead sec, you automatically know it's dead sec. Just one random lady just running up on you. Oh, it's dead sec. It's gotta be dead sec. So what I'm wondering is if the NPC thing is like you can switch between bodies and there's no central protagonist or there's a central protagonist controlling all these different operatives. Guess we'll just have to f find out. So yeah, so much for the non-lethal part of, of the leaks.
Well, we showed those fucks, didn't we? We almost died out there tonight. Look, thanks for helping me, but I can handle myself. Right. You think you're better off alone. You think everyone else has given up and there's no one to trust. That's what they want you to think, and that's how they'll take us, one at a time. It doesn't have to be that way. Together, we can change things. Wait. What happened to that bloke who helped me? He didn't make it. James? Yeah. Okay, so where do I go to meet the rest of the crew? You don't need to go anywhere. Look around you. Everyone has a reason to fight, and DedSec is open to anyone. Anyone? Welcome to the Resistance. Thank you. Guess I'm going to make you all wait so long, I should really knock it out of the park, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm Clint Hawking. I'm the creative director of Watch Dogs Legion. And for the past few years, the team and I have had the privilege to work on a game and an innovation that we are very proud of. Watch Dogs Legion is set in London, one of the greatest cities in the world, and it's had a massive influence on all of our culture for centuries. Today, with Brexit, London's at a turning point. It's hard to predict what the future holds for London, for the UK, or for the world. But history has proven time and again that where London goes, all of us go together. In our near future, London is facing her downfall. The UK has become a surveillance state and freedom has been replaced with fear. Armed drones patrol the streets, deportation squads rip people from their homes, and Grandad is using crypto to buy a new kidney on the black market. But Londoners never surrender. Their resilience and determination is an inspiration to us all, and they are the heroes of our game. All of them. In Watch Dogs Legion, your mission is to build a popular resistance to fight back against the emergence of an authoritarian regime. This means you don't just play as one hero, but many. And in Watch Dogs Legion, you can recruit and play as anyone. <laughs> in our game, Every Londoner is fully simulated with a persistent life and relationships and anyone from the entire population can be recruited into your team. Find them, profile them, hack into their lives, play their origin mission, and win them over to your cause. The heroes you recruit are all unique characters with different backstories and personalities, fully voiced and animated, and they are the stars of your story. Every cinematic in the game will change depending on whether you're playing a former MI5 action hero, a 70-year-old granny you saw feeding pigeons in the park, or anyone in between. However you want to play, whoever you want to be, Watch Dogs Legion lets you be that. You want to make a team of classic British spies? No problem. You want to be a crew of street-savvy kids from the council block? Do it. You want to go hipster, body mod, Afropunk, gangsta? Awesome. <laughs> the women of Bletchley Park? These ladies fucking invented hacking! Play as Anyone is the innovation that transforms a story about freeing London and the world from the grip of tyranny into a game about the heroes 
that live in each of us. Because being a hero isn't just a job for someone else anymore. It's a job for everyone. So on behalf of the Watch Dogs Legion's team here and around the world, I hope to see you on the booth. Thank you for your time, and welcome to the resistance. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Very, very interesting. Had a good run there for a while. Now it's all riots, bombings, and people thrown in cages like animals. Oh, and who could forget the killer robots everywhere? So yeah, that's all gone a bit shit. It's up to us to take our city back. Thing is, we can't do it alone. We need to recruit a resistance. I know what you're thinking. Where do we start? Open your eyes and take a look around. Look here. Look at him. No, not him. Him. Former MI5. Duty never ends. He can get anywhere and erase anyone. See her? Let's kick those bastards out of London. She got kicked out of Oxbridge Robotics School for teaching him to uh, reproduce. <laughs> and that fellow over there? Proper bellend. Come on, come at me. He'll crack your skull just for looking at him funny. had better be fucking good. And allow me to introduce you to the deadliest of the lot. She's not old, she's experienced. Like I said, you can recruit anyone, and I mean bloody anyone. Him, her, everyone is a secret weapon. Find them, recruit them. Build the resistance. Let's unfuck this world. Alright, so now that is a lot to unpack. Obviously, the big thing that they were pushing was the you can play as any NPC, which I, I said it in the stream highlight, but it just kind of makes me... Which I said it in the stream highlight, but it just kind of makes me wonder, is there going to be no central protagonist and are we just going to go from body to body to operative to operative? Or is there going to be a central protagonist controlling all these operatives? That's what I want to know. So not all of the leaks were true, but some of them were. It's set post Brexit, you know, London is just in chaos. I imagine that the map size will be comparable to Watch Dogs 2 and Watch Dogs 1. Maybe a little bit bigger, it just depends on how much of London they're singling in on. Maybe it's just one of the islands or I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't live in London, uh, but when it comes out, I will definitely check it out. I'll definitely make a ton of videos on it. The last thing I wanted to talk about was the release date March 6th, 2020, which is obviously way off of the November 2019 leaks that we saw in the Reddit post. Honestly, I have no problem waiting until March of 2020. It just seems, uh, it just seems a little bit off. But hopefully they use those nine months to just perfect the game, get all the bugs and the kinks out, uh, get some more QA testers so it's not buggy at launch. I'm gonna pre-order it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to talk about. See you guys later. Peace.